Hello, welcome to Algorithms. My name is Saurabh and today we are going to discuss about uh, security maturity assessment. As uh, you know that a small child uh, cannot ride a bike without training wheels or uh, later he cannot drive a car before his little legs could reach the brake pedal. Uh, so same applies to us means uh, uh, we have to go through a maturity process uh, and that is important but so many times uh, uh, organization assumes that they can quickly move to adopt sophisticated and effect, eff effective de defense in depth uh, cyber security schemes uh, where no such capabilities have existed before in reality it does not happen like that uh, just like every other individual or a kid or a grown-up they have to go through a process similarly you have to go through uh, a proper maturation process before you start to run so you have to crawl you have to walk before you start to run like a like vault okay so uh, let's look at the uh, look at the model so there are five different levels people process and technology it's very common uh, any framework you look at you find these three elements but what we are going to discuss about here that we have uh, incorporated more than 430 criteria uh, that we map to ISO, NIST and at the regional level controls as well. When I say regional, what I am saying is there are different uh, uh, controls for Europe. Uh, similarly, there are different controls defined by the Australian organization like Essentials 8. So we incorporate those as well to make it uh, uh, to make it uh, relevant at the global level as well as at the regional level because most of the organizations are operating globally. So this is relevant for those organizations. If somebody is operating at a local level, we can incorporate both just to make sure their systems are very strong because at the fundamental level the uh, the requirements from security perspective are almost same but how do we implement it and what is the objective behind implementation uh, what are the business goals we are trying to achieve those things could differ from one organization to another organization plus uh, the region as well okay so level one is all about having no formal process or uh, or tools in place uh, similarly from the staffing perspective uh, understaffed activities are uncoordinated at level two uh, they have a functioning security program some security processes and infrastructure elements uh, operating effectively and multiple security initiatives under development uh, but they tend to be weak in basic domains such as uh, network zoning, perimeter, uh, where most of the organizations still have a relatively flat or even chaotic networks or IT assets. They also score uh, relatively low on overall identity and access management. It is also unusual to find good levels of accountability and automation in security process or technology or to find uh, advanced vulnerability management, data loss prevention, or uh, security information and event management technologies operating at the developing stage. Level three, uh, they have established a comprehensive set of organization-wide security processes, policies, and documented uh, technical controls. However, uh, they typically remain over-reliant on individual efforts so they rely on people and not on technology uh, so processes such as change management audit and supply chain security still need to improve uh, for those organizations uh, they also need to focus more on increasing uh, role appropriate security knowledge uh, and awareness as well as uh, advancing on security monitoring analytics uh, privilege access management control sophistication and so on and so forth they also need to look at uh, key performance indicators and key risk indicator 
measures as well i spoke in my last uh, presentations or previous presentations as well about the importance of uh, going beyond the uh, general key risk indicators and key performance indicators so you need to make sure that you are reviewing them every year and making the changes it is not going to be a sea change but there will be a small change and it is important that you include important uh, uh, kpis and kris because uh, now it is security has become a key focus for a lot of organizations because of increasing cyber risk so you have to make your organization cyber resilience and these are the small steps that you have to take in order to make sure that you are getting there uh, and, and and maturing the whole process level four uh, <laughs> yeah means organizations uh, uh, claim that they have a well-managed uh, uh, security program and as they progress into the ma managed uh, or uh, uh, level 4 maturity level they say that uh, uh, with a high level of assurance uh, and at level 4 organizations have defined and built a comprehensive set of people process and technology controls however they uh, they remain rely on manual process and face challenges sustaining the security program in the face of continuous change to threat regulatory technology and business landscapes uh, so therefore uh, security uh, roadmaps at uh, level four must focus on increasing the level of automation for the infrastructure and processes through which uh, they can make the program more cost sustainable and scalable and that's where level four uh, infrastructure as a code uh, devops uh, security as a code those concepts starts to play a very important role so if you are an organization if you talk to security team maybe you are very enthusiastic you want to deploy uh, uh, certain uh, automation technologies it's not always relate to security but uh, it's overall organization maturity means if you are at level four in from the security perspective definitely other uh, uh, aspects of your IT and digital organization uh, must be at the similar level it's not that your security is at level four and rest of the organizations uh, is at level one of the maturity the whole organization grows together when it comes to maturity and that's where it is more of a cultural shift as well not just uh, a technology or a process shift it is easy to change technology it is easy to change the process but changing the mindset is the most most difficult task and that's where organizations are facing challenge when i talk to executives about digital transformation digital part is very easy you can do it like very quickly the transformation is not about technology the transformation is about culture is about people is about mindset so when when we talk to executives and use this term digital transformation we isolate the transformation part we say okay we are talking are we talking about digital or are we talking about transformation because we can take the digital part transformation part has to come from within has to be initiated within the organization executives and uh, and mid level management uh, have to take control of it have to make sure that uh, they are motivating individuals uh, their uh, teams their organizations to adopt to the new uh, 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 levels of uh, maturity okay so i know it was a, a shift from what we were discussing but uh, it was important uh, because uh, sometimes uh, you talk to people and you get uh, a very uh, uh, raw definition of digital transformation digital transformation is not uh, just about technology there are a lot of other dimensions that we don't uh, call call out specifically in our discussion and it's very important so level five so so if you are at level five you have it all so they have so these organizations have raised the bar uh, uh, within the organization uh, from the security perspective from the process perspective and technology infrastructure perspective uh, uh, pretty high and uh, from the accountability metrics and automation perspective they are at they are in the top tier 
but just to clarify not all organizations are at this level uh, they can intend on continuous improvement that they help keep throwing increased funding and resources at security for security's sake however organizations that get to the op- to the level 5 or optimized state face challenges is staying there because once you get there sustainability is another challenge it brings another set of challenges uh, uh, with itself so sustain how you are going to sustain when you get there so that's where a uh, security road map for a level 5 organization Uh, look like it focuses on sustainability and ad- adaptability but by continuing work on architectural approaches uh, to make sure that uh, uh, their organization is uh, future proof both process and technology interfaces uh, it also seeks to establish an organization culture that supports continuous improvement in security and risk management related skills process and technologies so as i said means uh, the culture part now as you see uh, at the level 5 uh, we are talking about the complete digital transformation so you have covered the digital part and you have covered the transformation part which is coming from the people and process we will talk uh, more on uh, security assessment uh, we will uh, come up with uh, uh, with uh, some of the tools like azure security center or aws security hub how you how you define different uh, security benchmarks so for instance you have uh, network security logging and monitoring identity and access control data protect protection so there are uh, security controls in different uh, 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 there are second there are different types of security controls so for instance uh, just i explain malware defense data recovery incident response secure configuration inventory and asset management vulnerability management so on so forth now how do you implement security controls in these area that's a key that 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 that's execution that how do you execute it so too much talking okay let's talk about execution how do you implement network security how do you implement data protection how do you implement vulnerability management uh, i explained in some of my presentations but going forward we will map it with the tools so you have a very clear idea that okay this is the maturity assessment this is what the outcome these are the security controls that you have to implement this is what you have implemented and this is where you are so it is more of a quantitative picture you have and you have got a security score and now you know that i have to move to the next security score what you need to do exactly and quantitatively what you need to do not in subjective terms so that you can reach out to executives showcase them get more funding i guess this is it from my side thank you very much for watching